In the late 70s, if you wanted to learn how to produce music, record music, create entertainment of some type, there was hardly anything out there that would give you a path to learn that. We recognized from trying to look at what we wanted, a place that could be a catalyst for so many people to tell their stories. We created the kind of school that didn't exist back then. That was the birth of Full Sail. Too many people think that creativity springs from talent from this, you know, otherworldly sort of you know, wellspring of inspiration. I don't think that's true. I think creativity uh, springs from desire, from an idea, from I want to do this, from I see things this way. And whether it's, you know, the, the creative urge to, as a teacher, design a lesson in a particular way, whether it's an artistic urge to come up with a piece of music or a piece of uh, a visual art, uh, or whether it is creative problem solving in engineering or business, it all stems from, I see this need, I want to address it, and so I'm going to create a solution. And the creativity causes impact, and that just leads to, hopefully, you know, movement. And that's what our students are doing, they're moving, you know. When you see that passion and when you put like-minded people together that are passionate and um, you feed off of that, of course. And to me, working with young artists and seeing that passion, seeing their excitement, even though they don't know how to get there, I get excited for them and my passion starts to grow and we kind of feed off each other and we kind of create this um, safe place to fail miserably, laugh about it, yes, and then work through what it is that we could have done better to help that next time. And I think the nature uh, of Full Sail that's so unique in that sense is that we really give our students the freedom to kind of explore that creativity, but it's not necessarily constrained in what you would consider like a traditional education setting. Like we have a freedom here to really allow that fully immersive experience, which really drives, I think, their, their opportunity to, to express themselves. It's really about giving other people opportunity to see who you are, your dreams, your imagination. Full Sail started uh, quite simply with just one educational offering. Today, we've evolved from just that initial audio education path to encompass pretty much, in my mind, every imaginable outlet that entertainment-oriented students, people with ideas in their heads about entertainment product of some sort, games, uh, movies, television shows, mobile applications, entrepreneurial business ideas. We've become a university that is a home for 50 different avenues that students can build their ideas, create their projects, and they can build them while interfacing with other students, like-minded students, in lab groups or around their classrooms, and they're partnering alongside of teachers that get them. We let them embrace their passion. And because you have that emotional connection to it, you're gonna put so much more effort into it. And for us, that's the biggest thing. It's not about reinventing the wheel. It's about taking the wheel and putting your own sparkle on it. And you're gonna be able to embrace the concepts and then express them in a way that is relative to you. And for a creative, that's the difference from going from that passive mindset to that active mindset. Nobody comes to Full Sail to be average. Uh, they're coming here because they wanna excel in their craft and they want to, they have something to say. Who knows where they'll go, you know, but we do touch on a lot of things and yes, I think that's part of a great education, don't you? It's like all these new adventures every month, it's like and, and students are jazzed. It's, it's fun. And sometimes the newer and the more, the more they don't know about it, the more impact it has on them. And so they are released into this sort of 
you know, playground of doing things. Um, and it's just, it's fun to see them come alive. At first, they're almost a little bit resistant because I'm sure, are you sure doing it right? And we just say, let's take right out of it and just do. We've created this environment that you can collaborate, you can network with people, you can actually work out your own needs in terms of your own production, your own, uh, your own academic journey, and plug into actual areas where people are aspiring professionals in, and you, you will end up with, in some cases, some lifelong partnerships and experiences. I've witnessed a lot of changes, a lot of progress in the technology or the tools that our students, or the world for that matter, uses to tell its stories. I anticipate that'll continue. That technology will evolve even faster tomorrow than it has yesterday. As we grow and offer more paths, more degrees, more ways to learn and propagate your stories, ultimately, if we continue to do it right, the classes of tomorrow will be similar to that first class of 13 students, where every person that walks through the door is an individual, has their own ideas and their own dreams. And the effort is to meet them where they are and help them along their path.